I didn't know of any other men in nursing, so I was kind of trailblazing, so to speak. I had to find a way to become the nurse I am today through the resources that I had available. My way of giving back is to spend that time mentoring and giving guidance to students and other professional nurses. The intent is to help grow the next generation of leaders and clinicians. One of my first interviews was here at Rush, and it was with Dr. Fred Brown. It felt like I was looking at myself. He had his DMP, he was a unit director, and it was maybe five to six years later, I was a unit director with my DMP, just like Dr. Brown. Aaron is a great guy. I see me and him. People like that, they have to be supported. Well, I actually created a men in nursing group that I had the opportunity to mentor two African-American men. Nolan Dyer actually reached out to me. He just asked if he could meet with me because he needed somebody that he actually had something in common with. And it was history from there. I used to go on LinkedIn and look up people that looked like me who were in positions that I admired and I reached out to Dr. Franklin, we've been close ever since. He puts me in positions where I can achieve and I can grow as well. The Man Nursing Group, it started out when I was just graduating and we now have a smaller, more intimate black man in nursing group. I just think it's a community where we could just be ourselves, especially coming from a profession that really don't see a lot of men in color. In. Once I got into the program, it's kind of hard to find a sense of belonging at first until I met with Dr. Brown and Dr. Aaron, who has been mentors for me in this program. And they really opened up my eyes to the, the possibilities of being a nurse. Over the years, it's continued to grow. We now have uh, people like Reginald Rooks, who was a high school student who was introduced to me with an interest in nursing. But now he's a patient care technician here at Rush. My middle school mentor, which you know is my current mentor, Aaron Franklin, we got connected. And then from there, I shadowed him. And I just knew from the first day, this was something I wanted to do. I was really happy with my choice. And just learning from Aaron, like all aspects inside the hospital, outside, I think he's a father for him a lot. It's like I'm, I kind of built this whole group of brothers. And we all have the same common goal. Growing up, I've been taught to give back what's been given. And what Dr. Brown and Dr. Aaron gave me, I intend on giving back to the people that's coming behind me.